Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. In the last episode, we defeated the Mother Silverfish and we set up a farm for it. I have lots of stuff in between episodes. And, and, yeah, one of them was actually to disconnect the stasis chamber from our main power generation plant back home. And currently we have seven diamond chickens in here feeding into the lapidary... La lapi lapidary dynamo? I'm probably butchering that. And it is meeting the requirements of the stasis chamber 100%. So that is, it, it's perfect. I just don't want us to all of a sudden lose power or something because I managed to set up some stupidly requiring machine that then drains all the power and then this going bad. So yeah, this is, I believe, a lot better. But also, we have eight silverfish hearts here in the chest. That it's not too bad. So we are going to go home and today what we're going to be working with is moving towards, well, we're hopefully going to get to the point of generating neutronium. First, we're going to uh, make neutrons, basically, I, I believe. Uh, pile of neutrons. Yep, we're going to generate neutrons, and then neutronium nuggets and then neutronium ingots. We are nearing or getting closer to this stuff right here, but we, we, we're we still quite, quite a ways away, but we're getting closer. But another addition I made to the base was I upgraded, <laughs> yeah, uh, I doubled the energy, almost doubled, I'm missing one up there, but we won't talk about that. Um, I changed the energy cell from being a uh, new, what, what was it called again, energy cell? I changed it from a Niotic to a Spirited, and this, so the Niotic one can only receive at 100,000 FE a tick, and I was running with an issue where these dynamos right here would only output like 16 RF a tick, and it would only be the six last ones here really outputting at 100% efficiency right here. And I, would, I didn't understand that, and I went to the FTB Discord server, which is a great place to ask about anything regarding to modded, by the way. And that then led me to upgrading the main pipe to Elite Universal Pipe, which can hold a lot more. I think I still got some. Yep, capacity is 400,000 FE a tick. And then I upgraded these green ones just to be safe for, to be advanced Universal Pipes. Don't think they need to be, but just to be on the safe side. And now we are generating power like crazy we were not even like at full uh, optimal I, I don't think we were fully optimized before at all um so that is a really good addition also we can now store 400 million fe in here that that's insane oh yeah i also casually made a 16 ek storage disk which i'm just gonna add to there and yeah we no longer have each storage issues but enough of that, time to use some of these silverfish hearts. Not all of them though, but some of them, because I want to make some dark matter tools. Not all of it, um, because each and every single tool requires a silverfish heart, and also uh, the armor, every piece of the armor needs a silverfish heart as well. But I do have eight, so we should be able to make like a sword, pickaxe, and all the armor as well. Actually, I do have... Yeah, I do have 11 at my disposal. I, I want one in there. I want to always leave one in there, okay? All right, so Dark Matter Pigaxe. It's so annoying it does that. Uh, dark Matter Sword, I believe. And then, of course, all of the armor. So let's make the pickaxe first of all. Hmm. Oh, I need to do it in mechanical crafting. Okay, I did not know this. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, that's that's different from from what I'm used to. Oh yeah, another addition I made. I removed the diamond chickens back from the from the roost because they were generating way too many diamonds. It was flooding the system and filling up the storage, which is just yeah, that's not ideal. All right, so for a pickaxe, I believe we just need to do something along the lines of this, and then I think we need to give it a redstone signal somehow i guess right there yep i think this should do it yep so it's combining and then just gonna have patience going into the final stage and brrr, i don't know what the sound effect is pickaxe capturing 
Nice! Mode standard? Yeah, they have different modes. I don't even know the diff what the different modes does. If we go into Dark Matter again... Yeah, getting a Dark Matter Sword would be kind of nice. I think it will be... Yeah, it's going to be more powerful than our Refined Obsidian. So we're definitely getting an upgrade here. So I believe that is the recipe. It is indeed. And here we go, the sword. And I do believe, however, it does have that bar down there. So I do believe that we need to charge these. I would assume so anyway. And also, if we hold the pickaxe, if I press G, it can actually mine in a 3x3. Three three. I don't know what the long shot mode is. You know what? We're going to have to try this. I don't know. Oh! Okay, so tall shot, I assume. Okay, that's like that. Wide shot is then like this. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. And of course, we have standard mode. And it's just working, so maybe we don't need to charge it with EMC. Or maybe it's because I have the clean style makeup charged up here. That might be it as well. That works for me, though. So the dark matter armor now. This is going to be really interesting. Do I need... Yes, I still need to use the mechanical crafting. So I wonder, actually, can I use the bottom part here so it goes maybe a little bit faster? I can indeed. Yeah, uh, this, this part takes a little bit of patience. And boom, helmet acquired. Now I just need to go ahead and make the rest of it, which is pretty straightforward. Eh. Um, so... I thought I did the leggings recipe right. I didn't. So I don't actually know what it's... Yep, yeah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, it's uh, supposed to be like this. Yeah, there we go. I was wondering, I was like, okay, well, it's not the right thing, then what am I crafting? And boom, all the dark matter armor has been made. So we can go ahead and... Mm. Hold on, do I have any... Oh, I don't. If I just go ahead and do that, and boom, perfect. And we have ourselves a very, very nice upgrade. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks cool. That looks really cool, and it should be better. Well, the stats don't say it's better, or doesn't say it's better. But what we can now do is I can put this away. Uh, I will have to say goodbye to my pack still though. I, I might not upgrade to the pickaxe. I The only thing, actually, that I will need the pickaxe for is removing these Dark Matter pedestals. In order to remove these, you need the Dark Matter pickaxe, or I think you can use a... Yeah, you can use a cardboard box to move the item around, but yes. So I will keep the Dark Matter pickaxe in my backpack, uh, but to, just to remove these Dark Matter pedestals, but I think I'm going to stick with my pack, so... The sword, however. I, I, I'm I keeping the sword. Now what we can go ahead and do is go ahead and since we have red matter unlocked, I believe we can go ahead and upgrade this to red matter helmet and, well, armor. Gem armor. I don't know how we make this, though. Oh, dear. Yikes. That is... It is night vision? Oh, and these have flight and everything built in, I suppose? Watch your flowing time. Oh, wow. Okay, those are really cool. I think for now, though, I'm just going to stick with the red matter stuff. And then I'll have to make some of those uh, things later on. And I believe... Yep, it should be as simple as that. What is this, though? Upgraded red matter tools. Hmm. Oh, is this an equivalent of the Paxel? That might be an equivalent of the Paxel. I believe that is an equivalent of the Paxel. Very interesting. All right, so uh, it turns out I have four silverfish. I had four uh, silverfish hearts generating while I've been doing this. Also, we got the red. We we got the red armor now. It looks sick. But yeah, I have more silverfish uh, hearts now. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make all these tools, and then upgrade them to uh, this. Don't know what it's gonna do, but uh, we, 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 we're gonna find out. Now, while I'm doing that, I just saw that 69.2% of you guys watching in the past 28 days are not actually subscribed. So, if you are enjoying the content here on the channel, if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below, that would be epic. I would love to reach 7,500 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you could do that, 
we would get a lot closer to that goal. But now back to whatever it was past binary was doing, probably making some dark matter armor tools. You'll know. All right, so it says it right here. The red morning star is a combination of the red matter tools and the red Qatar is a combination of the weapons. So we're going to try and make the Qatar first, which is going to be like this. And then sword axe here, uh, yeah, which is here, yeah, the axe sword. And the final one was the hoe, I'm pretty sure. And I believe this should work then as she is. An axe, a sword, and a hoe? I guess we'll find out in a moment. And there it is. Right, so it's set to slay hostile. Slay all. So that's a really cool thing about the sword, by the way. Alright, so... Uh, well, it should work for wood, right? Oh yes, it does. It does. And that's a hoe as well. That's very loud, though. <laughs> but that is 24 attack damage. That's 12 hearts. Wow! Okay, how do we make the morning star then? Simple, just like this. I am pretty sure that's the right order. Yep. Just red matter like so. And boom. I'd say that that is a pretty decent upgrade. So I don't think I will be needing the Paxo anymore. So before we get into generating neutrons, let's just get this real quick, see if there's anything of value, you know what, that probably is, that probably is, but I, I probably don't know it, um, yeah, there we go, anyway, I have added a new room down here, right in the middle, and we are going to be setting up neutron collectors, however, before we can make these, we need to make the extreme crafting table, which is a bit extreme, we need a crystal matrix ingots, which those are pretty easy to get, as long as we make one, and then we need double compressed crafting table. This, actually, that's not too bad. And we make these uh, ingots like so, and then of course they have an EMC value, so we can uh, go ahead and do our EMC trick with those. So I think we just go ahead and do this. Now we have one, I'll, I'll, go, ahead and, I'll go ahead and take two. And then we can just plop that right there. And I'll need to set up some stuff. Let's see if I can do this super fast mode. So it's right there, right after dark matter. So I place it here. I go boom, I go boom, and I go uh, ka-ching. It probably has a bunch of stuff, but that's EMCable, so that's fine. We add another one there. We disconnect from there and there. We add the roost right there. We set it to output. We set 16 chickens in that. We set it like so. And then we set this to output. And I take two of these, so I add one there and there. Boom! Uh, <clears throat> yep, easy. <laughs> I really do love Project E. So now that we have that out of the way, I just need to make a ton of these. I, I think that should do the trick. <laughs> to be honest, I probably made way more than I need. Uh, so if I go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, for actually? Actually, I didn't make enough. Huh. Uh, I should get that pretty quickly, though. 20, yeah, 32 should do it. 32 should not do it. Oh, dear. Oh, I just needed one double compressed. I have two double compressed. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Now I'm just going to casually grab a stack of these and just add them to this thing right here. Fill it up and as soon as this is full, it begins the construction. That is looking pretty cool. And ultimate crafting table is now complete or extreme crafting table. You know what? That'll get a place right there. It's animated. It looks sick. That's a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next step is these neutron collectors. And the reason why we make these is because they generate they generate a single tiny pile of neutrons every six or so minutes. But I have a plan for that. Um, I just want to be able to make these. And these are EMCable as well. Granted, they do cost a few million. It's totally fine. However, we need to make sure that we have all that we need. So iron blocks, redstone blocks, and quartz as well, I think. I think I should have everything. I'm pretty sure as soon as I have a stack of, well, two stacks of redstone blocks, might as well. And I think I should just be able to go ahead and boom, 
do that. And I can probably hold down shift. And I can make six of those. I just need a little bit more iron. But I think what I'm going to do is... Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, give me a moment. Yeah, that, that looks about right. A bunch of red matter made it in there. And well, we, we now have 29. <laughs> And I actually forgot to add upgrades. There we go. Yeah, pretty decent. And with that, if I just go ahead and grab all of them, now we can set up this system. So I think I'm going to add a dark matter pedestal there. And this is going to contain a watcher flowing time, which is going to speed up these machines significantly. But if we start with placing one, as you can see, it has a percentage. If I turn this thing on, yeah, that goes a lot faster, and you can imagine, the thing is, they don't use any power, so we can just place down a ton, basically like this, and as long as they're all sped up, like so, boom, pile of neutrons. Now what I can go ahead and do, I can dig down, okay, it is the mine stone, or does it just destroy it? Mode? I think it just destroys it. <laughs> it does give me the wood, which is nice. And you, you know what? It's fine. Who, who wants stone anyway? Right? <laughs> right? Anyway, uh, place is a little bit messy, but it's fine. We're going to place a... I'm going to take this out for sure. Place a compacting drawer there. And then we're going to add a bunch of item pipes. And they all need to be set to output like so so just go all the way down just of course not the the dark matter pedestal <laughs> i don't actually know if the watcher flowing time would pop out but i'm not interested in finding out at this point in time so with all these set to output they should all land in here uh Huh, that is odd. That, to me, should have worked. Now, I can never remember the names of the pipes that does what things. Uh, aha, I just want to test if these will work any better. I mean, they might. Uh, so this is push, pull. Yeah, we want it. This thing is fast. If I just go ahead and add all of these, I set them to pull. Oh yeah, it's being pulled. It's being pulled. So maybe the other pipes just don't work very well. There we go. And well, it's not going further. Push. Maybe. I'm so confused. For some reason, this one is just not wanting to pull. All right, I figured out. Why it wouldn't work? Uh, I basically did an oopsie. You need you need to place it in there first, and then they should all. Yep, they're, they're now flooding in. <laughs> and these, I think, I don't know if they've been full at any point, but they're generating at a pretty decent pace now. We have two ingots basically. I think I could do this and do this and get two quests completed just like so, and we will not think of what is be below decks here not not at all and to be honest i could set up another layer right here leading into the compacting drawer as well which hmm that is actually very tempting very tempting and just like so we have another layer i don't even need i don't i don't even know if we need this much <laughs> but it's very satisfying there's actually space for another layer that i Unintentionally, I did not. Uh, hmm. You can't. You. You can't stop me. When you see this video, this has already. This has already been done, and there's no going back. <laughs> and just like so, it's been done. <laughs> Ultimate setup for. The, what What are these called again? Not, not these. These neutronium ingots. That's kind of cool. Is there some cool framed glass or something that we can put around? Panzer glass. Wow. You, you know what? You know what? Maybe some hardened glass because uh, 
Yes, it's framed as well. We'll still be able to see through it. Oh yeah, that just made it look even cooler and we can see the neutrons dropping into the compacting drawer. <laughs> Am I too excited about this? I feel, I feel like I might be too excited about this. Anyway, that... Wow. Wow, we got far. We got very far, actually. What did we get? Ooh, netherite upgrade. That is good because we are going to be needing... We're going to be needing those because the next step, really, in the process of getting to end game is going to be, if we take a look at this, First of all, we need to get all the items here, right? But then we have all of these source gems, which we need to make and try and automate every single one of them. And some of them are going to be easy, like source gems. We need to make a neutronium compressor, feed it source gems, and boom, we have source gem singularity. And we need all these singularities to make the inf infinity catalyst, which we can turn into then infinity ingots, which are then used for, well, other cool things. How do you make these? Oh, those are easy. But yeah, you, uh, I think, I think you get the, I think you get the point. So now we need to take a look at all of these singularities and see which ones we can actually go ahead and do. But I'll do that off camera. I'm going to make a plan for all of these. Um, and we're slowly going to make our way towards the infinity catalyst. And then there are things like the ultimate steel. Yeah, that, that's going to take some work. We need to get every single one of these. So that's probably going to be one episode in of itself. Getting the ultimate stew. Cosmic meatballs. That's also going to be a thing. Because this is not em So all of this. This is all em And this is all like the neutronium we can get. So this is automated. Uh, it, we're able to automate this basically. Because all of this has EMC, so we're going to be using EMC for that a lot. I don't know if all of this stuff has EMC. Uh, fruit salad, for some reason, does not have EMC. Barbecue on a stick does not have EMC. So some of the oh, the wraps here and the, the hamburger does not have EMC either. So, oh boy. Well, at least it looks like a lot of it is crafting. And we can set up auto-crafting, so hopefully... But I don't I don't like this one. <laughs> uh ooh. Okay, we should be able to make this. So end of the episode, we are going to make that thing. I think it was four that we needed, right? Four in order to make Endest Pearl. Yeah, I think so. So if we go ahead and make that. And uh <laughs> Yeah, this, this is awesome. I should have everything that we need in order to make this. Um, Endest Pearl. I think I have everything. Uh, yep, Endest Pearl. Our very, very first one. There we go. I was waiting for the quest to appear. What did we get for that? A blue bomb. Lovely. Record fragment. I should be able to... I should have some. Ooh, I do. However, I will have to... Ah, we can't sacrifice pick step just yet, but we did get a record fragment, which is also used in the infinity catalyst right there. So we'll be we'll be needing that. Uh, is that emcable? Oh, it is emcable. This is not though, unfortunately. And boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, again, I love Project E. And we're nearing half a stack of neutronium ingots. But guys, I am going to call this an episode. We did some really good progress. We have upgraded gear, really, really cool stuff, very cool armor, and we have automated the process and generation of neutronium ingots. Like I said, in the next episode, we're probably going to be looking at some of these singularities. Maybe like, we need to automate a bunch of stuff and I need to do some planning in between episodes. So yeah, we still have a lot of automation in front of us, but I love automation. It's super satisfying to see automated stuff work like in front of your eyes. So I'm very happy. But like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye. Yeah.